Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG, and we have a new one here today, Sands of Salzar. Now, this one has been on my wish list for a while. It's basically like a Wuxia Kenji Dynasty Warriors type of game. And it's obviously been on my list, but the developers of Heroes Adventure were just like, yo, you ever heard of this game, Sands of Salzar? And I was like, yeah, that's been on my wish list. And they were like, well, there's a DLC coming out for that soon. So here's a key. Go and have fun. And I was like, well, I mean, say no more. Say no more. Now, I've seen quite a few trailers for this. It has been interesting, to say the least. I loved Dynasty Warriors when I was a kid, and if it's got any kind of relation to that, I'm going to play the crap out of it. Story mode. Obviously, we're going to do normal, but my character takes 50% less damage. Troops take 25% less damage and 30% chance to avoid favor drop. Okay, well, there's going to be favor stuff in here. Enter the desert. You are a spirit man, so there are many in the land, but you are considered particularly noteworthy. Control over memories, thoughts, and illusions may be your bread and butter, but you'd best keep a low profile so long as there's a bounty on your head. Concentrate pure negativity into energy balls or deal explosive damage or summon up a shade. And you can also blink. You have a follower named Zainet, a skilled Hashashin, and your only family. As talented students of Arcana, spirit mancers may learn and complete any branch of talents. Difficulty 1, so 3 stars is the highest. You are a novice sorceress. Although you were once a disciple of a great storm archmage in the Ilya's Mountains, you chose a path most despised by your master and the rest of the wizarding world, Spirit Mancy. Expelled for your decision, you travel to the desert ready to prove your capabilities to both yourself and your skeptics. Your hope? To challenge all the Spirit Mancers across this land, stand atop mountains untamed and achieve feats unimaginable. Control enemies, confusion in the battlefield, sense fears and use them as your strength. As a talented student, you may learn the most advanced Storm Arcana. No followers, but you begin with more. I don't know what the items are, so that's not really helpful. Obviously, a three-star character is probably unwise to start as. A Jackal. Those with the courage and madness to do whatever it is we cannot or will not do are known as bounty hunters. This can be a swashbuckling, dangerous and addicting career. You're the leader of a group of bounty hunters infamous throughout the desert regions known as the Jackals. Fame and fortune fill your future so long as you keep plying your deadly desert craft. Well, it's very poetic in its writing. You come and go like a stealthy shadow. You track and trap targets while earning Utah for knocking down enemies. Can't learn Arcana, but you do have the ability to train recruits to become bounty hunters as well, and you begin with two followers. That's pretty good. A shaman. You're a shapeshifter. The Black Sun brought its curse, twisting the lives of some local inhabitants, but this is no curse. Your latent power etched into your veins was merely released by the Black Sun's energy. Somehow you have forgotten your beastly instincts. Somehow your very scent is unfamiliar. Lost in dusty sand, you know not whence you came, nor where your destiny lies. As heir to the Beastmaster bloodline, you can shapeshift into powerful beastly forms. Legend also has it that the blood of a dragon courses through your veins. Train hard enough and you may just learn how to summon a dragon! Can't learn any arcana, communicate with creatures in the wild, and you get followed by a wolf pack. I mean, that's pretty good. A knight errant, you are a skilled swordsman whose quest to rob the rich and aid of the poor has built a legend among the desert folk. All tribes regard you with a mixture of hostility and dread. Mastery of the sword has granted you knowledge of long lost techniques. Equipping a long sword reveals your greatest strengths. An orphan raised by spirit mancers, your flexible arcana upbringing allows you to learn any branch of arcana up to master. You begin combat with the three bonus wisdom crystals, each giving you one bonus skill point. Your relationship with all tribes is poor. All tribes have a warrant out for your arrest. You may find yourself pursued by enemies at any moment and unable to enter cities as normal. Jesus, come on. Bit much. I'm gonna go shaman. I like the sound of him. Oh my god, there's more? How many more? Oh my god. Berserker. I mean... That's self-explanatory, let's be honest. A sentinel. Inherited a divine sword. Basic understanding of Arcana. Taken several crossbowmen under your wing. Eh! A sultan, a nameless princeling from an unknown tribe. Your father passed away unexpectedly, passing the title of sultan to you. Okay. You may use ancient machina to improve your weapons and tactics. Deploy towers to the battlefield to provide cover. Holy crap. You received strict arcana training in your youth, leaving you an arcana master. You may learn all level 3 arcana. 
Begin with a small town and construct buildings to train up your troops, but watch out for invaders. After establishing di diplomatic relations with other tribes, you may learn their culture. Remember to keep a watchful eye. Enemy troops may invade you at any time. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm going shaman. Oh yeah, you looking good. Your name. Smiling Monarch. So in a way, somewhat similar to Hero's Adventure in that playthroughs give you more points to use as a starting. No, I'm going to need skills. I'm going to need them. To get Strike, because it's nice and normal. A Bleed, because yeah, that's nice and normal too. I don't have many points to spend, that's the problem here. I can't afford any of these. I could get like two potions. I can't get anybody in a squad because they're all absolutely god tier. Can't get any settings. I mean, I could get favour with somebody, but what's the point in that when I don't know what that means? Although if I'd become the nameless, I could have gained 120. Damn. Alright, let's just get two strength potions. Maybe. Screw it. Screw it! You struggle to open your eyes. The sunlight pierces them. You're in a daze while you hear people chatting about things like humans and leopards. You lean your head and stand up with difficulty. The people surrounding you all take a step back. You try to jolt your own memory, but you could not recall anything except the phrase smiling monarch. That's all you need. You feel like you've heard the phrase countless times and you finally realise that it's your name. You catch a glimpse of somebody's lips moving like he was saying your name, but you look up and he's already turned in the direction of Redstone Valley and left. Okay. Okie doke. So WASD isn't... is it clicking? Okay, it's clicking. Can I talk to you, sir? I have two wolves with me and they would like a word. Alright, party. Skills? Can I learn one thing? Is that what you're saying? Oh my god. Alright, got a canine form, spider form, eagle form. I feel like spider form would be good. How do I learn that? Level 6. Fuck. Okay, well, we're gonna learn strike. Because it's a legacy. Might as well. Save. Can I even cast it? 175 mana it costs. Fuck. And these cute little wolves. Promote! Okay, yeah, no, this is going to be an intense game. Can I rob these guys? Is that loud? It's probably not loud, is it? I haven't seen you around here before. Perhaps I can answer some of your questions. Who the fuck are you? I'm just a nobody. There's many travellers in the desert. Which way to Redstone Keep, please? It's not far from here. A nearby caravan is travelling there soon. Oh, nice. Thank you. There are many caravans in the desert. So, caravans are travel. Okie doke. Current events. Five major tribes in the land. The Nasir, the Dakan, the Akal, the Thur, and the Deep. Which one do you want to know about? I... None of them. All I need are my fists. Where's the caravan? <laughs> Hello! Wow, I run fast, thinking about it. Oh my god, what's happening? You hear faint calls for help carried on the wind. They grow clearer as the wind becomes stronger. After a moment, you see the figure behind the voice. A middle-aged man appears, dressed in ragged clothes and carrying an old staff. He's gripping a masked woman's hand tightly and running for his life. Chasing him is a humanoid monster ensconced with flame. Ensconced! Now that's a word. Save me! I'll save you, bro. Don't even worry about it. Not that I had a choice. So, so do I click? Okay, I can click. Q is my skill. This Ifrit is an idiot. We're going to sneak up behind. Oh, I can't. Nope, he's just a straight up idiot. Fair enough. Eat it. Kill it. I need more skills. I love how I'm using a spear as well. Wrecked. Clearly, I am a genius. Thank you. May I ask the name of my saviour? Smiling monarch at your service. My name is Malak. I'm a scholar. She is Isra, an orphan I picked up in Twin Luna Valley. She was interested in my study, so I took her with me. 
Uh, is this the old heavenly country destroying beauty? What do you study? Studying the history of this land. Not the old emperor or the machine age, but something very obscure. These monsters appeared after the black sun rose in the sky. Although they appear human, their bodies are covered in flame. We call them Ifrit. Fair enough. Why'd they attack you? If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one. Ifrit are violent by nature. They like to attack humans, human mages in particular. This kind of weak Ifrit isn't even self-aware, but it's said the more powerful ones are smarter than humans, though I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Thank you. Malak and Isra express their gratitude and continue upon their journey. You discover that Ifrit deteriorate very quickly. Like burned charcoal, they fall apart bit by bit until they're ultimately scattered by the wind. The battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognizable, yet war rages on. The appearance of such monsters are unlikely to alter mankind's dreams of conquest. You brace your head against the wind and press forward. Let's go! And they disappeared. You could join me. I'll take yous. You can ride the wolves. Come on, guys. Caravan to Redstone Valley, please. I would like to go... Wow, there's a few. Redstone Valley, please. Thank you. What's this? A limestone flower. How lovely. Ah, another adventurer. Did you follow the caravan here? Don't look surprised. That's how I came to Salzar as well. People always seem to complain about how far they have to travel and how small their bag is. Filled with too many weapons broken and in need of repair, they say. I won't stand for that. Me, I'm just an old leather worker that can help expand your inventory. Ooh. I want to expand my bag. Hand over your bag at 500 bucks. At most, I'll be able to double it. I don't, I don't have... 500 bucks. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, what's this? Received a talent shard, what? Well, I'm gonna use the strength things on my guy, might as well. I'm gonna be using my spear, I assume, and I'm assuming beast form uses strength, mostly. That makes sense, right? Go at it alone or recruit troops? Well, that's the question. I don't have enough Utah to hire troops, but I know that fighting alone is too dangerous. I learned that a trainer was selling war animals. Who knew they'd be more expensive than people? Yeah, they'd be like that. You see a simple merchant stand displaying far from simple treasures. I've come into possession of a pet, specifically a python. It can be yours for 551 Utah. Do we have a deal? I'd like to think it over real quick. Um, I need to sell something, anything. Oh, there's burning over there. There's Ifrit's there. This guy sells horses. I'm assuming it makes my travel speed faster. I have absolutely nothing worth selling. That's not ideal. Well, maybe I just kill the Ifrit and then I'll have the money, right? That's big brain. A chest. You approach a gathering of bandits. No respawn when defeated. Begin. Yeah, she'll be right. You pull out your weapon and approach them quietly. Holy fuck, I have so many wolves. Oh my god, there's way too many of them. What do you mean? Go get them all. Go get them. Fuck them up. Uh, skill, 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 skill. There you go. Alright, we'll be alright. I did not expect that many. Holy crap. Alright, now it. Ooh. I only gained four bucks. Four bucks? Ooh, what's that? Desert Brotherhood. Uh, pretty sure the Brotherhood hates me. But, um... Can I sneak in? Come on now. Not confident in combat right now. 
You find a den of beasts, your entire party may join you. Can I recruit them? Is that a thing? Because like, I'm a shaman, right? Oh, sweet fuck. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Okay. Got to use my wolves as a shield more. Seriously, a single dollar? A single dollar! Yeah, let's get slam. That's a, basically a travel skill. Leap a thousand cubits in target direction. Yeah, I'll take that. Abandoned redstone mine, no guards. Mode party of four recommended level four. That's going to be a no from me. We're really just exploring Redstone Valley right now. Traveler, my brother was killed here during the Battle of the Black Sun. He was a brave, brave man. Do you know your letters, Traveler? I need someone to help me write down my brother's story so that more people can know of his exploits. Okay. Would you like to hear a soldier's tale from a time long past? Listen, recommended level three? What? I feel like the frogmen would be very scary. Oh, there they chasing me. Should I kill them? I should probably kill them. I should probably try and kill them. Good luck to me. Ugh. Very nice. Okay. Is that just one scrub? Oh, maybe not. 15 bucks though. Damn. Alright, let's get to Redstone Cake. Exploring too much is going to lead to the death of all of my wolves. Which is not ideal. And this place is massive. I'm just in here. Like, Jesus. Redstone Cape. Hello, guard. We're in need of volunteers. A group of religious fanatics have been spreading their hysteria for the fire god, and they're going to sacrifice new believers to summon their deity. It won't be easy. Some of our people speak of seeing creatures covered in flame within the mountains to the south. The local sultan has his garrison defending the area, and our men can't get close enough to learn exactly what they're up to. I can trust you with this quest if you have three squads. I, yeah, no. I don't have three squads. Frankly. Ooh, talent. Okay. One additional squad may join. I mean, that's probably useful. Reduce party serious injury rate is probably very nice. But let's go leadership. An extra squad. That's probably the best way to go. Who am I looking for here? That person? Is it you? Takes off his hood. I finally found you. My name is Shafikath, my smiling monarch, do you remember me? I, no, I don't. Ah, so you forgot everything. I'm your comrade in arms, we have an illustrious battle history together. Battle history. Do you forget you stopped the wildfire yourself? Shafikath talks excitedly of your amazing battle prowess. Fortunately your face was covered at the time so they wouldn't recognise you now, otherwise those that remain... We're the Dark Legion, an extremely powerful organization of mercenaries. You are the best of us because you have a rare and powerful beast blood. Beast blood, you say? They have the ability to turn into beasts, and even in human form, they're much stronger than the average man. Shafikat says he understands. He says the Dark Legion did you wrong, and it was the right choice to leave. You were about to ask more about your past when he says with an uneasy expression, this place is not safe. If you want to know more, find me in a week's time at the abandoned old mine and at the Crying Rock. He's gone before you could react. The Dark Legion is what you were, the Beast Blood is what you are, and only you are. It seems that to learn more you must meet with him in a week's time. Oh my goodness, things are expensive. I've only got five hundred dollars! You hear someone calling out to you. The wariness in the person's voice sounds familiar. You don't remember me, my saviour. It's me, Malak. You saved me from the Ifrit. You haven't forgotten this troubled scholar. He puts away his old tomes and turns to take your hand. My saviour, I finally found you. What's up? I'm in desperate need of your help. The Ifrit has begun forming hunting parties to attack humans. 
To make matters worse, distinguishing the most powerful Ifrit from those of our own flesh and blood is nigh impossible. They have their own language, intelligence, and magic. They evolve and adapt quickly, too. If this continues, humans will be unable to defeat them. Okay. I've located an Ifrit hideout. As to what they're plotting, I don't know. I shall wait for you at the south of Redstone Keep, the Lava Void. My savior, you're the only one who can prevent this disaster. Okay, I, why do I feel like the orphan that he's picked up is uh, one of these human ifrits? Well, we're going to go on to Trader a little bit here. Just for more money from selling things, because that's obviously going to be important in a game like this, I think. A quest. Identical notices have been posted on the stone wall by the guard. To the north there's a mine. You'll see it if you go to the end of the canyon. After the black sun, miners often saw ghostly fire down there. They frequently got injured or went missing. It was eventually abandoned. Go see for yourself if you think you can survive. Wow. It's not much of a quest, is it? Why do I feel like this redstone mine is like maybe a little out of my league? Yeah. Recommended level 4. Party of 4 too. But it is big loot. Ooh, a den of beasts. Let's go. I need these fights. Go get them. Go get him! Oh yeah. I'll be slaughtering them now. That's called a win. 40 bucks from that worth. Oh, beasts. Get him! Fuck him up! Yeet! Perfect. We want to avoid too many losses. Nice. We have some troops willing to follow you. Nasir Militia. Honestly, I mean, that's cheap. Yeah, look, cannon fodder. Let's be honest, cannon fodder. Recommended level three abandoned alchemy workshop. Let's go. No enemies on floor one. You accidentally awaken the workshop's guardian puppets on floor two. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, they strong. Oh my god, if I just constantly run around them, then they're getting hurt, while I do nothing. Uh, they, they were very, very strong, good god. Kill him! Kill him! Far out. We lost some boys there. You defeat the puppets and loot some supplies. Thank you. Decent bit of iron stone, apparently. Alright, now we can listen to a story that required me to be level bloody three. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, it's like a full-on thing, okay. We were brothers in arms who met during the Battle of the Black Sun. I was conscripted by the Oryx as a rank-and-file soldier. Hello, brave warrior. Oh, you must be new around here. You don't look too well. I'm about to be sent to my death in battle. What on earth is this fool prattling on about? Oh, oh, I'm fighting. Oh my god. Oh, I can't jump to him, damn it. Wait. Can I jump? Oh my fuck, what the? Why is he so strong? What do you mean? What do you mean? Level 3? You lied to me. This mother... F Level 3, my ass. Of course, it could just be because I'm trash. That is entirely possible. You approach a gathering of bandits. Why not? Why not? What are they going to do? Kill me? 
Yeah, there's a few of them. Oh wow, no. They got slaughtered. Well, I did manage to find a slightly better spear that gives me plus 4% crit rate, so I consider that an absolute win currently. This game is an interesting little thing. I am curious if a full pet build is going to be worth it, though. It's probably better for me to just aim for humans, maybe? Because I'm looking at the promotion for animals, and it's literally just one to three. And that's it. Then I go into a human and they've got a massive tree. And I'm just sat here like, hmm. What do I do here? Holy fuck, that's expensive. Good god. But alas, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna leave this one here. I am probably going to be playing this on the side as well as recording. Because I think there's gonna be a decent bit of gameplay that's repetitive. But we'll see what happens. Regardless, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to join the BBG Discord. Link is in the description below. And of course, as always, have a great day.